Sir Kirtley Elcon Linwall Ambrose, Cassian is a retired right-arm fast bowler and left-handed batsman from Antigua. He represented West Indies in International Cricket Council, ICC, events between 1988 and 2000. Widely regarded as one of the greatest fast bowlers of all time, he totaled 405 test wickets in 98 matches at an average of 20.99 and 225 one-day international wickets in 176 matches at 24.12. Empowered by his great height, he is 6 feet 7 inches or 2.01 m tall, speed and accuracy. Ambrose was able to hold the top spot among the ballers in the ICC player rankings for much of his career. His interest in cricket developed late, as he originally wanted to become a basketball player. Not long after his debut in international cricket, he formed one of the most devastatingly effective bowling partnerships with Courtney Walsh. Following his retirement, he was inducted into the ICC Hall of Fame in 2011. He was made a Knight Commander of the Order of the Nation. KCN, by the Antiguan and Burgundan government in February 2014. Childhood and Early Life Born on 21 September 1963, in Schweiz, Antigua and Barbuda, Ambrose is the fourth of seven children of a carpenter father and a homemaker mother. While no one in his family had played cricket before him, his mother, Hilly, Millie, according to some sources, loved the sport. He played some cricket in his youth, but he preferred basketball at the time and thought of emigrating to the United States. It was his mother who encouraged him to pursue a career in cricket. His first class debut came in 1985-86 in a match for the Leeward Islands. After he earned a Weave Richards scholarship, it provided him with the financial backing to travel to England and play for Chester Boughton Hall Cricket Club in the highly rated Liverpool competition in 1986. Later, he secured his position in the Leeward Islands team. International Career Kirtley Ambrose made his international debut in the first match of an ODI series against Pakistan on 12 March 1988, in Kingston, Jamaica. He took four wickets in that inning and continued to perform well in the next two matches, helping West Indies secure the series. However, his good performance did not carry over to the test series that followed. On 2nd April 1988, he had his test debut against Pakistan and only managed to take two wickets for 121 as the West Indians were defeated at home for the first time in a decade. In 1988, he was selected in the West Indian squad for the England Tour. Appearing in all five matches of the test series, he garnered 22 wickets at an average of 20.2. Cricket writers subsequently began comparing him to Joel Garner, whose retirement had originally led to Ambrose's inclusion in the West Indian team. In 1989, Ambrose played English county cricket for the first time for Northamptonshire. In 1990, during England's tour of West Indies, he proved brutally effective. In the fourth innings of one match, he recorded a figure of eight wickets for 45 runs. He later toured Pakistan and England and played Australia and South Africa at home and continued to deliver superlative performances with the ball. In 1992, Ambrose played his first ICC World Cup which was hosted by Australia and New Zealand. His performance in the series left the fans disappointed, and West Indies was eliminated in the round-robin stage. By 1994, Ambrose had become one of the leading ballers in the world. 
that year, he sustained a shoulder injury and could not accompany the team on a tour to India. Even when he came back, in early 1995, he was not being able to generate his old pace. He had problems with the West Indian manager at the time, former test bowler Andy Roberts, who complained that the fast bowlers were not listening to his advice. In the 1996 World Cup, which was held in the Indian subcontinent, Ambrose and his bowling partner Courtney Walsh significantly contributed to West Indies' performance. They made it to the semi-finals of the series where they were ultimately defeated by Australia. In the late 1990s, West Indies witnessed a categorical decline in all forms of cricket. While they won matches and tournaments at home, their performance abroad was abysmal. In 1999, Ambrose played in his last World Cup in Europe, mostly England. Although the team was eliminated in the group stage, Ambrose took seven wickets at 13.42 and gave 2.35 runs per over, becoming the second most economical bowler of the series. After the World Cup, Ambrose and Walsh were often rested. His last ODI was against Pakistan, the same team against which he started his career, on 23rd April 2000. He played his final test series in England. On 31st August 2000, the last test of his career began. He took three wickets in it and received a standing ovation from the crowd and a guard of honour from the English team. After the series, Ambrose retired from international cricket. Later years Since his retirement, Ambrose has begun a career as a musician. He is a bass guitarist and has performed with the reggae band Big Bad Dread and the Ballhead. His former teammate Ritchie Richardson also performed with the band. In 2015, he published his autobiography, Curtly Ambrose, Time to Talk Through Orem Press. Family and Personal Life in 2001, Kirtley Ambrose exchanged wedding woes with Bridget, or Bridget or Brigitte, Benjamin. He has a daughter named Tanya with her. Ambrose has another daughter, Kirsty Ashbrook, from a previous relationship. Legacy Ambrose is widely regarded as one of the greatest fast bowlers of all time and one of the most respected cricketers ever. His records speak for themselves, but his impact goes beyond numbers. He inspired generations of fast bowlers and fans with his skill, passion, and dignity. He is a true legend of the game and a proud son of the Caribbean. Dear viewers, We have tried our best to provide you an informative video. Please comment that how did you find this video because your comments and opinion are very important to us. If you like the video please subscribe our channel and give a thumb up so that you may be updated for our every effort regarding upcoming video. Take care of your good self.